You can insert raster image files into any Revit project to be used in various ways. You can use this capability to place logos into title blocks, include photographs or rendered images on sheets, or use an image as a background for your building design. For example, you can insert an image into this plan view. On the Insert ribbon, in the Import panel, click Image. Revit displays the Import Image dialog. As you can see in the Files of Type dropdown, Revit supports many popular image file types. Select PlanSketch.jpg and then click Open. The image is now attached to the cursor and appears as an X. Click to place the image in the center of the view. Once the image has been placed, you can see the actual image in the view. With the image selected, on the Options bar, Lock Proportions is selected. This will prevent you from accidentally changing the proportions of the image. When you click and drag one of the corner grips, the entire image rescales equally. When you clear lock proportions, however, which you can do either on the options bar or in the properties palette, and then click and drag a corner grip, you can now distort the proportions. Be careful doing this, because there is no way to reset the image back to its original proportions other than to use Undo to reverse any changes you may have made. Use Undo to restore the image back to its original proportions. With the image selected, in the Properties palette, you can specify the width and the height values, but the scale values are read-only. These values are initially set automatically based on the current scale of the view. In an Imperial project, these values are set to 96 when the scale is set to 1 8th of an inch equals a foot. In a metric project, with the view set to a scale of 1 to 100, the scale values would be set to 100. Once you understand this, you can accurately import scanned images of a sketch drawn to any known scale so that it accurately represents real world units. You can also easily scale an image after it has been inserted to match the length of a known feature in the sketch to its actual length. For example, zoom into the upper left corner of the image. From the Measure panel, start the Measure Between Two References tool and measure the length of this wall. Based on the sketch, it appears that this wall is approximately 10 feet 6 inches long, or 3,400 millimeters in the metric file. But say that you know this wall is supposed to be 12 feet, or 3,600 millimeters long. With the image selected, from the contextual ribbon, in the Modify panel, start the Scale tool. Revit prompts you to click to enter the origin. Select the left end of the wall. Then, Revit prompts you to click to enter the drag point. Move the cursor toward the right end of the wall until the dimension reads 10 feet 6 inches, or 3,400 millimeters, and click. Then Revit prompts you to click to enter the new position. Move the cursor to the right until the temporary dimension reads 12 feet, or 3,600 millimeters, and click again. When you do, the image resizes. Images are view specific. They only appear in the view in which they are inserted. They also behave like detail items. They can be arranged to appear in front of or behind other detail items. For example, zoom to fit, Select the image, and copy the image slightly up and to the right of the original. With the new image selected, in the Arrange panel, choose Send to Back. Now the new copy appears to be behind the first one. Also, with an image selected, 
on the Options bar or in the Properties palette, you can use the Draw Layer parameter to control whether the image is in the background or the foreground. When it is set to the background, any Revit elements you place will be in front of the image. For example, zoom into the left side of the image. From the Architecture ribbon in the Build panel, start the Wall tool and then place three walls by tracing over the image. Then, start the Door tool and ensure that Tag on Placement is selected. Place a single door. Then, click Modify to end the command. See how the new walls and door appear to be in front of the image? But when you select the image, and then use the tool on the Options bar to move the image to the foreground, you can no longer see the wall and door elements. Although, you can see the door tag. With the image still selected, you can click in the Draw Layer field and then move the image to the background so that you can once again see the walls and the door. Images do not appear in the project browser. In order to keep track of images, you can create a view and name it to indicate that it contains an image and then place that view onto a sheet rather than placing images directly onto a sheet. For example, in the Project Browser, scroll down to the Sheets branch, right-click, and add a new sheet to the project. Then, on the Insert ribbon, in the Import panel, click Image and insert a new copy of the PlanSketch.jpg image onto the sheet. Next, in the Project Browser, Select the Level 1 floor plan view and drag and drop it onto the sheet. Now, in the Project Browser, when you expand the listing for Sheet A101, the image name does not appear below the sheet name, but the view name does. It is important to understand that imported image files increase the size of the Revit project file. Revit provides tools to help you manage imported image files and you can delete any files that are no longer needed. To manage image files, on the Insert ribbon, in the Import panel, click Manage Images. Note that this tool also appears on the Manage ribbon in the Manage Project panel. When you click this tool, Revit displays the Manage Images dialog. You can see the names of the images that have been inserted along with a thumbnail and the number of copies of that image. You can also use this dialog to add, delete, and reload images. If an image has been updated, you can select Reload From to reload another image. However, images added here can only be associated with elements in order to be added to schedules. In other words, if you click Add and import an image, there is no way to add it to a view as you did using the Image tool. Since you inserted the same image a second time, Revit assigned it a separate name. Select the first instance of the PlanSketch.jpg image file and then click Delete. Revit displays a warning to let you know that there are two instances of the image that will be deleted. While you can expand the warning, the Show option is not available. Click OK to delete the image, and then click OK to close the dialog. Now the view you placed on the sheet no longer includes the imported image.